Hello everyone, today's lesson is lesson 32, tallying and counting by five. So I'm gonna tell you how to tally and count by fives. And in class, uh, you would get a penny. And if you notice, a penny has a heads and a tails, okay? And we call that because the head, of course, has a head on it, and the tails is the other side, okay? So let's say I took my penny and I flip it. Okay, I flip the penny, or maybe I'm gonna shake it. So I'm gonna shake it in my hand, and I'm gonna put it on the table. And I wanna count how many times the pennies land head up, and how many times the pennies land tails, tails up, okay? So let's keep track. And I'm gonna make a tally mark for each head and each tail. So I can't actually flip a coin on this video, but if I was to do it in class, let's say the first one I got was heads. So I'll put a mark for heads. And this, let's say the second time we got heads. Let's say then we got a tails, and then we got heads, tails, heads, heads. Now if you notice, when I got to, these are showing how many I have. So that's one, two, three, four. And then the fifth tally mark goes across the middle like this. That's five. Now I start making a new tally. So let's say we got tails, and then I got another heads. So then I'd start a new tallies for heads. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, for tails, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. And this is how we make tallies. We put them four in groups of five. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. 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 Now, if you look, I have an equal number of heads and tails. Now this doesn't always happen. Uh, sometimes I might have more, okay? But let's see how many tally marks we have in the first group, okay? And we count the tally marks, and we're going to count by fives because that's each mark means five. So we have five, 10, 15, 20, okay? And then we have 5, 10, 15, 20 on this side. Now let's say I have a couple extra. Okay, so oops. Okay, so let's say I got heads three more times. Well, I'd, I would count by fives until I got to 20, and then I'd count 21, 22, 23. So I ended up with 23 tally marks, okay? So let me show you what the tally marks looks like for seven. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you can see that I have one group of five, so that's five, and then I have two more. So then six and seven. Okay, what about 25? So I'm gonna have five, 10, 15, 20, 25. Okay, so how many groups of five tally marks do I have? I have one, two, three, four, five. Do I have any extras? No. So I know that this number is correct. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25. What about 16? Well, with 16, we go five, 10, 15, and then I just need one more, 16. So I have three groups of five and then one extra tally mark. Okay, and that's how we make tally marks to count objects or heads and tails or anything else we want to count. And that's it for this lesson. Good luck on your homework.